Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have here again, as you can see, another one of these boxes. So if you guys aren't familiar, this is uh, the Who Made Me a Princess series on, not Webtoon, at Neighbor or Twitter. Where, where does she post her official Ross? I forgot. Oh well, anyways. So here is volume 3. I'm actually so excited. And sorry if you don't see the full box because you usually see the full box when I do these unboxings. But it's way too gloomy outside. And it doesn't matter where the setting is. Uh, the lighting's gonna be off. By like a lot. So yeah, I just decided to do it where I usually do my budgeting videos. Yeah. Alright. So this volume's color is blue. What the heck? How does one... You know what? Whatever. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Okay. So... Who made me a princess volume 3? You see my setup there. Hi, tripod. Alright, so I'll just open, well, take off the covering plastic because light glare is real. Alright, plastic's been taken off. Oh my, oh my god, there's a, that's not from my knife, just saying. Yeah, so this is what it's, I don't know where to display this now that there's volume 3 because I have volume 1 and 2 up in my shelf, but yeah. And then the back oh my god this matches so well especially with like their blue eyes and everything I was looking at it. all right so let's see oh my god oh my god so the first thing is a postcard of Athie in her coming of age dress cute and then oh my god we have a bunch of stickers Oh my god, there's a lot of things in here. Wow. Because like usually it just comes with a standee and like some postcards or photo cards or whatnot. But this one came with stickers, a postcard, and a lens cloth cleaner, I think. And of course these. But yeah, let's just get through this first. I showed you guys the postcard already. Next one is this lens cloth cleaner i think is what it is yeah so that's that and then the stickers which i will probably most likely not be using let's see oh my gosh these are so cute Oh my god, I want to use them, but not really. Oh my gosh, this was when she was like... <laughs> I need to keep some gold for future. Oh my god, that is adorable. I'll just put it in the plastic later. Wait, why are there two books? I am confused. There, there's two books. So this is the book. Oh my god, oh my god, let- Oh my gosh, let's show this to you guys first and we'll go through with the f fun book. So the volume 3 looks like this and then the back and then the side. Wow, you can see that. Here you go. So we'll just do a quick flip through because this is all in Korean. So this is from chapters 25 to 39 and right now I think latest chapter is what 60? I just actually read it or 57? I don't know it's one it's from that. Oh this is when she just got to reunite with Ezekiel. Ah, 
whatever. I missed the page or not. We're just looking through stuff. Oh, we're gonna see her in that pink dress. Oh my god, I seriously love the art of this freaking webtoon. I freaking love it. Because the, basically, the thing that introduced the thing, the, <laughs> the series that introduced me to. Oh my god, why did I do that? Uh, the series that introduced me to webtoons. Oh my, see, it's here. Oh my god, I actually wanted a full page of this. Do I rip it? Nope, of course I'm not ripping anything. Cool. And then, where is freaking Claude's? Oh, they made it. Oh, freak, that should have been a shot by itself. But he still looks good. Yeah, anyways. Um, I'm just gonna repeat that sentence over again. So, what introduced me to webtoons was Noblesse. Well, it's a webtoon manhwa, but it was the only one I was reading for the longest time. And then there was that app, the Manga Tune, I think. Webtoon? Webtoon that app and I was reading from time to time from then but like this kind of trope where like you're getting res resurrected or like reincarnated or like reborn that's resurrected no resurrected is dying only the same anyways uh yeah so I was not really reading a lot of this kind of like tropes in when I was reading webtoon I was just reading like a uh, typical like webtoons that they were showing there until I was introduced to Daughter of the Empress by, um, I forgot the author. Um, yeah, that was the first one that introduced me to, like, this kind of trope. I mean, this kind of thing exists in anime, like, literally. But I haven't seen it in a webtoon or anything yet. But yeah, Daughter of the Empress was the first one I read. And then I think this was the next one. And oh my god, thanks, Daughter of the Empress. Daughter of the Emperor. My god, Kaitel ain't girl. Yeah. Oh my god. So now we're just flipping. I read mangas a lot, so I don't know why this feels like a lot of pages to me. <laughs> oh my god, I seriously love this series. This is my favorite webtoon of all times. Time. Like in English. Uh, oops, flipped too quickly. I come on. And then this was another fast forward, I think. No, it's not. It was. Never mind. No, there wasn't any fast forward again. But yeah, that was that for this book, the actual comic. Now let's get on to that other book. Where am I going to put this? I've got no space. Cool. Okay, so here's that other book, whatever this was. Yeah, so the cover is Athi, again, like the postcard. And for some reason, this is, so okay, so yeah, this is just glossy paper, like glossy finish. This one though, there's like some gloss it's matte the actual book but like the title is in like hollow the crown the gem and her eyes which symbolizes how crystally like the no the nobles are in this comic well their bloodline of course so anyways let's flip through that but yeah the cover the back and then the side I am not ripping any of these, just saying. Because I saw a glimpse of it. Oh my god. Look at their outfits. That's so cute. The paper's way too thick, by the way, so the book kind of is like open in an awkward angle. So 
So this is basically obviously if you guys want to cosplay these characters, there were some reference for you guys. Oh my god, what even is this? <laughs> oh yeah, the part that we can like rip. So I think this is the instructions. Yeah, no, I ain't cutting that. No. 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 So there's a couple models and a couple outfits for Athy. <laughs> I ain't cutting that up though. It's staying in the book. I mean, it looks weird. Afty looks weird without hair. Other than, well, her bangs. Oh, this was the one where she couldn't walk because she fainted for like a while. Haha, <laughs> spoiler if you haven't watched it. By the way, do you guys see this freaking... Isn't this uh, Jeanette's dolls? Yeah, so there's a couple Jean I think it's just Jeanette and uh, Afi, these dolls. God, this the paper is so thick that I can't even I mean I can fully do that, but I don't want to because that'll destroy the binding of this book. And of course adult Afi. Oh, this is the princess outfit. <laughs> and then we have a few of Jeanette. And then a few of the settings. And yeah, so that was that for that random book. Um... Yeah. Okay, so that was volume 3 of Who Made Me a Princess or One Day I Became a Princess. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh wow, I'm actually surprised this video isn't as long as the usual ones because there's like two books. Anyways, uh, yeah, that was that for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more, well, boxing videos. And remember to keep on shining. Bye!